Is Gigantopithecus the ancestor of modern orangutans? What exactly do we know about the largest primate that ever walked the Earth, aside from the fact that it roamed the forests of Southeast Asia between 9 million and 1 million years ago? Was it a gentle herbivore or a fearsome predator? All of these questions can be answered if we fast forward to the future and compare the Gigantopithecus to its modern relatives, the orangutans. But is the Gigantopithecus really the ancestor of the modern-day orangutan? Well, in today's video, this is exactly what we'll be confirming. So, without any further delay, let's begin. Known Physical Characteristics Let's quickly go over what we know about the appearance of the Gigantopithecus and then compare it to the appearance of the modern-day orangutan. The Gigantopithecus holds the distinction of being one of the largest known apes in history. Estimates suggest that Gigantopithecus could reach heights ranging from 2.7 to 3.6 meters 9 to 12 feet, when standing upright making it a truly formidable presence in its ancient environment. One of the most well-preserved aspects of Gigantopithecus remains is its teeth, particularly the molars. These dental structures are massive, showcasing adaptations for grinding and chewing tough vegetation. Their enamel is thick and they possess deep crevices in a broad, flat surface, all indicative of a diet predominantly consisting of fibrous plant material. While the skull of Gigantopithecus is not as extensively preserved as its teeth, fragments have been discovered. These fragments suggest a robust cranial structure, potentially indicative of strong jaw muscles also adapted for an herbivorous diet. Although cranial remains offer valuable information, it is the teeth that provide the most comprehensive understanding of Gigantopithecus dietary preferences and adaptations. Regarding locomotion and posture, there is ongoing debate within the scientific community. Some researchers speculate that due to its immense size, Gigantopithecus may have possessed limited bipedal capabilities. However, direct fossil evidence confirming bipedalism is currently lacking. This is one of the many things that may be confirmed if the Gigantopithecus is confirmed to be the ancestor of the modern-day orangutan. The limbs of Gigantopithecus, though not as extensively documented as its teeth, are believed to have been well adapted for arboreal locomotion. In terms of body mass, Gigantopithecus was an absolute behemoth. The largest individuals are estimated to have exceeded 500 kilograms over 1,100 pounds. Such an immense size would have necessitated a diet that provided a substantial number of calories to sustain such a massive frame. Comparison with orangutans When it comes to physical features, one of the most notable similarities between Gigantopithecus and orangutans actually lies in their dental morphology. Both primates share the same large molars with thick enamel that we just talked about. This suggests a shared preference for a diet dominated by plants. Additionally, both exhibit a robust cranial morphology, indicative of strong jaw muscles adapted for chewing tough, fibrous vegetation. In addition to cranial similarities, both species display adaptations for an arboreal lifestyle. Their long and powerful arms are specialized for swinging through trees and navigating dense forest canopies. This points to a reliance on forested environments for locomotion and foraging. Orangutans also have the ability to walk bipedally, but they primarily use quadrupedal locomotion, which involves moving on all fours. When orangutans do walk on two legs, it's typically for short distances, and they may use their arms for balance. Bipedal walking in orangutans is considered a less efficient form of locomotion compared to their natural quadrupedal gait. It's just a theory, but this could mean that long ago, the Gigantopithecus walked bipedally, but as time went on and the primates evolved, the orangutans became more efficient and began using all four limbs to move around. Geographical Similarities 
The geographical distribution of Gigantopithecus fossils also provides important insight. Fossils of Gigantopithecus have been discovered primarily in parts of Asia, with notable findings in China, India, and various countries within Southeast Asia. In China, particularly in areas such as Guangxi, Guangdong, and Hunan provinces, numerous Gigantopithecus remains have been unearthed. These discoveries have provided crucial information about the morphology, size, and potential behaviors of Gigantopithecus individuals that once roamed the ancient forests of this region. Additionally, India has yielded important fossil finds, particularly in regions like the Siwalik Hills. Southeast Asia, including countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and Indonesia, has also been a significant area for the Gigantopithecus discoveries. The presence of fossils in these countries suggests a widespread distribution across the Southeast Asian landscape. Comparatively, modern-day orangutans are primarily found in specific regions of Southeast Asia, predominantly in Indonesia and Malaysia. Orangutans are native to the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. The distribution of orangutans is more limited compared to the broader range of Gigantopithecus in ancient times. This difference in distribution between Gigantopithecus and modern orangutans can be attributed to a combination of ecological factors and evolutionary processes. Over millions of years, changes in climate, vegetation, and other environmental factors likely played a role in shaping the distribution patterns of great apes. Understanding these distribution patterns provides valuable context for reconstructing the ancient habitats and ecological contexts in which these creatures lived. Divergence and Evolution Gigantopithecus and modern orangutans share a common evolutionary history that stretches back millions of years. Understanding the timeline of their divergence and evolution provides crucial context for interpreting their relationships. Gigantopithecus is believed to have existed from around 9 million years ago to as recently as 100,000 years ago. This time span places Gigantopithecus firmly within the Miocene and Pleistocene epochs, covering a vast expanse of geological time. In contrast, the lineage leading to modern orangutans, which includes Bornean Pongo pygmaeus and Sumatran Pongo abilii species diverged from the rest of the great apes much earlier, likely around 12 to 16 million years ago. This divergence took place during the late Miocene epoch. The orangutan lineage evolved in isolation on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra in Southeast Asia. Over millions of years, they adapted to the specific ecological conditions of these environments ultimately giving rise to the distinct orangutan species we recognize today. The evolutionary path of modern orangutans is characterized by a series of unique adaptations to their island habitats. These include specialized diets, such as frugivory, a diet mainly consisting of fruit, as well as specific behaviors related to their solitary nature and arboreal lifestyles. Genetic Studies Direct genetic studies, specifically focusing on Gigantopithecus, are limited due to the challenges associated with extracting and analyzing ancient DNA from such ancient fossils. The preservation of DNA deteriorates over time, and the age of Gigantopithecus fossils, dating back millions of years, makes it extremely difficult to obtain genetic material. However, there is still something to be learned here. Genetic studies have primarily focused on modern great apes, including orangutans, to infer broader evolutionary relationships within this group. By comparing the genetic makeup of living species, researchers can reconstruct the branching patterns of their evolutionary tree and make inferences about their shared ancestry. For example, molecular genetic studies involving DNA sequencing techniques have been instrumental in refining our understanding of the relationships among living great apes, including orangutans and, by extension, the Gigantopithecus. One aspect of particular interest is the use of mitochondrial DNA MTDNA, studies. Mitochondrial DNA is maternally inherited and provides information about the maternal lineage. 
By analyzing mtDNA from different species, scientists can estimate divergence times and construct phylogenetic trees that illustrate the evolutionary relationships among these species. Additionally, advances in comparative genomics have allowed researchers to analyze genomic data from multiple great ape species. These studies help identify genomic regions that have undergone evolutionary changes and can provide clues about the genetic basis of specific traits and adaptations. While these genetic studies don't directly involve Gigantopithecus, they form a critical foundation for understanding the broader evolutionary context of great apes, including the potential relationships between Gigantopithecus and modern orangutans. Alternate Ancestry One alternative hypothesis proposes that modern orangutans may have actually descended from a primate genus called Civipithecus. Civipithecus, which thrived during the Miocene epoch, roughly 12 to 8 million years ago, also displays dental and cranial features that bear resemblances to those observed in contemporary orangutans. This includes characteristics such as tooth structure and cranial morphology. These similarities suggest a potential ancestral link between Civipithecus and modern orangutans, hinting at a common evolutionary heritage. In contrast, another hypothesis for the ancestry of orangutans is that modern orangutans are descended from the Pongani group. This hypothesis encompasses both the extant genus Pongo, comprising modern orangutans, and extinct genera like Lufenpithecus. According to this line of thought, Gigantopithecus may represent a separate but closely related branch within the broader Pongani group. This perspective acknowledges the potential involvement of various ancestral lineages, suggesting a complex evolutionary history for modern orangutans. While this hypothesis provides a comprehensive framework for considering the origin of orangutans, it also highlights the relationships within the Pongani group that require further evidence and analysis to confirm. Overall, the ancestry of modern orangutans is a topic that we may never have a definitive answer to. That is, unless we find more conclusive fossil evidence of the Gigantopithecus. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.